what's going on again guys uh, this is my second upload for the day uh, like I said in my first video I'm going over my thoughts and theories of Kingdom Hearts 2.8 um, in the first video tonight I uh, talked about 0 0.2 birth by sleep but these are my thoughts about uh, unchained key key back cover um, so this film's about an hour long um, you know, it's that HD cinematic part of Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of thoughts about it, so, you know, bear with me. It gave us good information going forward for Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, it leaves us hanging with some questions. Um, but other than that, you know, I mean, unless a lot of the characters come back and are important down the line, which I don't see happening, um, you know... There's small stuff to pull from it. I mean, I enjoyed it. It, it, it was it was good. It was it was okay. It was fine. Um, I enjoyed it, but you know, just there are things I liked about it, and that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm you know, it was good. I'm not trashing on it at all. But there are some things that could have been better, uh, more explained. But it's whatever. They're saving everything for Kingdom Hearts three, so I'm fine with it. So first, overall, you know, what did we learn from it? The Master of Masters was an incredible character. Um, you know, he was, like, really just amazing in terms of, like, being a dick. Like, he was a dick, and he, but he was, he was cool, you know? It, it was just like, I, he was, you know, the eyes always focused on him when he was on the camera. Um, it was great. But he was really smart. So he was a dick, but he was smart. It was like, you know... Like, I don't know. It, it, he was just really cool. Um, but, you know, what we kind of learned from the Master of Masters, other than his voice actor is the actor for Noctis uh, from Final Fantasy XV, uh, we learned that he has a separate plan for the five foretellers as well as Lushu, um, his sixth apprentice. But he's got a different plan for each of them. And what we learned from key back cover was that there is no traitor there is only the master of masters turning his apprentices against each other and that those are truly my thoughts because the master of masters is smart he's mischievous it seems and you know it seems like he gets his way and nobody just disappears in kingdom hearts that doesn't just happen um he'll be back i think for kingdom hearts 3 but the Master of Masters was the ultimate, you know, wisecracker and, and smart, deviant, crazy mind guy in key back cover. And he was actually my favorite part of it, too. Um, what else did we learn? Ased, um, the Master of the Ursus, you know, the bear guy. Um, he was just very passionate. You know, people are already speculating that he's the traitor. He didn't betray anybody. Um, he was doing what the master intended, and really, he was trying to do it all for good. Um, I think we have ourselves like an Anakin Skywalker situation with a said where he doesn't really know what's good and what's bad, but I don't think that he's the traitor. He didn't do anything that goes against the other unions. He wanted to be an alliance. The only person he wanted to go against was the Master of Masters, because I don't think he trusted him, and he didn't. Because, like I said, the Master of Masters was a mischievous dick. So, you know, as said, I, I understood where he was coming from. Like I said, he was an Anakin Skywalker-type uh, character, but he was definitely not the traitor. Also, he could end up being one of the 13 Darknesses, maybe. Um, one of the attacks he used, like, used, like, an axe in the air with his Keyblade. Um, that could mean something, but... Who knows? I just don't think that he's evil. Um, I mean, he may be, but he's definitely not the traitor. Uh, next, to go over the lost page. So, uh, Master Gula of the Leopardus Party uh, gets the lost page from the Master of Masters. And on that page says, like, uh, the one with the sigil will be the one to open the world to darkness or open the world to light or something like that. And obviously, in Dream Drop Distance, we learn that uh, the 
key, the X letter, is actually called the Recusin Sigil, and that obviously stands for X, and Xehanort is all about that. Um, but that leads me right into Lushu. So Lushu, um, we learn that he is the master of Xehanort and Ericus, but... You know, and he's got the Keyblade with the Master of Masters' eye in it. And we learn that eye controls how he can see into the future. But Lushu seems kind of innocent. He doesn't seem evil, you know. He got the Keyblade from the Master of Masters. He got that box from the Master of Masters. And he kind of doesn't know what to do with it. Um, you know, he... The Master of Masters is like, oh, look, it says in the in the Tome of Prophecies that you already did it, so just go go do whatever the hell you want. And Lucius is just kind of confused. His master just told him he can just go do whatever and it, it'll just, you know, write history for itself. So it's really just kind of... It's weird. You know, Lucius is not a bad guy, it seems, but how did one of his pupils end up so bad? Um, did Xehanort steal the Keyblade? Did Lushu hand it, really hand it down to him? I don't know. We'll see. That's another question for Kingdom Hearts 3, as well as what's in that goddamn box. We won't know until Kingdom Hearts 3. So, those are my thoughts on Keyback Cover. Um, you know, I, I thought it was really good. Um, you know, short, it was short and sweet, we learned a little bit, it got me excited for Kingdom Hearts 3, um, the characters were good, but, you know, it wasn't perfect, uh, you know, there, there wasn't really a lot of emotional ties there, I love the Master of Masters, um, but overall, you know, it was just more to get me excited for Kingdom Hearts 3, and I think that's all its purpose was, so, those are my thoughts on key back cover, um, you know, like I said in my last video, let me know what you what you think about Keyback Cover in the comments down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel, help me out. Also, uh, what I'm going to do going forward with uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.8, I'm going to be streaming my experience of HD Dream Drop Distance uh, on my Twitch channel. You can find my Twitch page in the description down below. Um, so until then, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Thank you.